Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is the week of the 15th, February 15th to the 21st. Um, last week was Valentine's Day. Um, I haven't gotten this fully filled out because I'm actually recording this a little early. It's actually um, Thursday. So as you can see, the weekend has been fully filled out. I just filled out things I know. Because um, we've been getting a little busy. But I wanted to record this early because our weekends are a little crazy right now. So now, and as you can see, I put down my sticker for 11 weeks. So I'll put my 12 weeks here. So this week I decided to do this sticker set that I have. Um, these are full backgrounds. It's a really pretty red, blue, and then this is a um, kind of a cream color in the background. It's not white. So I do that, and then I'm going to use one of my quotes. Probably, probably this one it matches pretty well so and I'm gonna start using a couple of these quotes when I can some of these are for a birthday like you have Valentine's um, you had a couple of Valentine's you had birthday and then you have um, just regular loved ones so but neither of the Valentine's ones are matching my spreads maybe next week so I'm gonna use that up here but I'm going to start off by doing the sidebar. And I'm using this because I ran out of red on the February because I used it once before. So I'm using, I believe this is July's, just for the red. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my sidebar. I'm not doing any washi this week. And that is mainly um, because I feel like the patterns this week are really busy. I mean, the... It's got a lot of different hearts and swirls, so I feel like if I put a washi down, because I don't have any solid color that match, it would also be very busy. And I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So, if you guys hear some um, loud banging noises, I don't know what's going on here locally, but there's been some really loud banging. I think they might be, I know this is going to sound terrible, but I think they might be dynamiting, um, for the highway construction. There we go. Couldn't quite get that edge up for me. And as you see, all my nails are off. They're not painted greatly. Um, some of them it's chipped. Um, since I took them off, I have a lot of damage to the nails. You guys can probably see. So I have to try to correct some of the damage. Now, I'm going to use the pink headers, even though they don't match perfectly, because I really don't have any others printed that'll match. So, it's just going to kind of blend together in this kind of pink, blue, red kind of theme. So, I'm going to put, and I know I still haven't done two videos a week. It's been terrible. I know this is not going to go up Monday. And I hope to get it up Tuesday. Um, we are going, um, we have a bunch of work to do this week, but I, Monday I have a um, huge list of things to do um, that are around town. So I already know that I'm not going to be able to get a video up. Um, on Monday. So I'm going to try to get this up Tuesday. Um, it's also going to depend on our internet because they're working on our internet. So now I'm going to put another thing down. I'm not going to get two videos up this week, but I want to pre-record. Okay. Really, really, really crooked. I'm trying to correct them when they're like, oh my god, what were you thinking, crooked? That's it for that. Okay, I'm gonna put some of the work ones down. In between, I know I have some work things to do on Monday. I have a bunch of stuff to do on Wednesday because he's going to be at um, the sitters. 
so I could actually get a ton of work done. It's my favorite thing um, when he goes there because it gives me kind of a, a break just to de-stress. My son doesn't cause me a huge amount of stress, but I think anybody who has kids knows that after a while, all kids kind of stress you out. So then, I think I'm pretty much going to do, let's see, I'm going to do two to-do lists on here. For anything that generically needs to get done, we are on a race to finish the house before the baby's born. Which, I mean, we have a little while because I'm only going to be 12 weeks this com coming week. Um, but still, it's there's a lot to do. So, on general to-do list. And then, I'm going to put... a to clean sticker on Saturday. That's one of the main things I'm trying to do every Saturday is this house as we're moving stuff around to work on different rooms. It's becoming a, not a dirty mess, but a clutter mess. So I've had boxes and boxes of stuff that needs to go through, get rid of, um, stuff like that. Okay, the other one I'm gonna put home and now I'm putting home because I'm going to put our to-do list of what we need to get done um, as far as like construction-y. So. so now I'm going to go ahead and put down all my um, today stickers right across the middle and I don't have a whole lot going on this week particularly it is mainly actually you know I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these down first so I'm gonna look at the days that I have something going on so Wednesday I have something going on and Thursday it looks like mainly Wednesday Thursday and then Saturday so I want to try to pick some ones that aren't um, super busy or that it won't matter if I put a sticker on top of it kind of thing on those days. So I'm just going to line it up and I've decided to start doing this because I've noticed, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, my I don't think it's my stickers because the machine's cutting really straight. I'm having a problem with all. But it seems like some of my pages are slightly crooked. If that makes sense at all. So some of these are going down extremely. Like they'll match along the edge, but then the top won't be. I don't know, it's weird. So I've noticed if I put them, see there's a boom. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Um, but if I line them up along the edge, sometimes they're crooked on top. This one's not bad. So let's see, in Saturday, let's do this other red one. When I first heard these booms, I thought at first it was like somebody slamming their car door really loud, but I can actually feel it in my floor. Um, we have a raised subfloor, so we're not on the ground. So anytime there's a loud boom, it'll echo underneath the house and you can feel it. It's a little weird at first. That took me a few weeks to get used to. Any of you there up north will know exactly what I mean. But here in Florida, um, it's very rare to have any houses that are not concrete and directly on the ground. Sorry, I gotta turn this just a little so I can get this lined up. So 
So I can't wait to figure out what that is. So let's see. And there's my dog. She's not liking the noise either. In case y'all are wondering, I do, I have a um, lab mix. We rescued her from the pound. Um, and she has been my, how do I put it? She's been the dog I rescued has been the most work. I love her to death. I think she's the sweetest thing at times, but she also has a huge fear problem of people. So it makes having people come over a little difficult. The reason she fears other people is she was, um, if you guys know anything about dog fighting, um, my dog was actually used as a bait dog. Um, she wasn't quite there yet, but she was signed up to be. They rescued her um, close to the fighting ring before she was used. She was only six months old. But it's enough that she is terrified of um, people. And unfortunately, she's also extremely terrified of um, anybody of color. And I don't mean that to sound racist at all, but if anybody who is um, even darkly tanned, she will be more nervous and scared of just because that's who ran the ring. Um, and then the other thing is, is any kind of loud bangs, um, especially fireworks, remind her of gunshots. Um, so, because apparently they used, um, I'm not sure if they used guns as a scare tactic with the dogs or what they did, but she's scared of guns. Even my son has a toy gun and um, she's terrified of it. So... there I put the quote up. The quote went a little crooked but I'm not gonna fix it. This whole like line went a little crooked. That's what happens when you place the first one crooked, everything goes crooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down the rest of the headers and then start putting down, since I don't have washi, I think what I might do is put the um, TV shows down there? I'm just not sure. I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do. So, I would love to hear if you guys have any similar stories with dogs or anything, a dog you rescued. I love hearing about rescuing animals. It's probably one of my favorite things. Um, I always wanted to open a rescue and rescue animals. But I don't have, I've never had the land to do it. Because my dream was always when I was younger. I wanted to rescue animals um, that were, needed more work. Not like medical attention, but behavioral. Um, my other dog who has passed away, um, she died of cancer, unfortunately. We didn't, they didn't find it until she was too far gone. She was my baby. Um, when I first got her, she was chained up outside with a male dog. And the lady didn't chain them far enough apart. So when she fed them, the male dog ate all of her food. So she learned to survive off of the little bit she got before he finished his in grass. So, and normally everyone who has dogs knows if a dog eats grass, it means they're sick, they're not feeling well, their stomach's upset. So I, of course, started freaking out. Why is my dog eating grass? Is she sick? What's wrong? Come to find out it was just because of her, um, the way her body was processing everything, the way she was growing up, that's what was part of her diet. 
So I'm just going to put down my film stickers. But when I got her, she had a severe food aggression because of that. So if she would have gone to a shelter, they would have put her down. I don't know if you've ever watched like um, any of the animal shows, you know, where they put the fake hand in the dog bowl. She was the dog that would attack it. Um, but now she was a little dog. She was only about this big. Um, she was a skipper key. If you guys, any of you guys know what that is. Um, but she literally would just bite you. And what I did is I started off by leaving her alone. No one touched her food. Everyone left her alone. And then slowly by slowly, I started putting the food down, but putting my hand over it. And I would just leave my hand there. And at first she would kind of go to nip at me. And then she would just sit there and like, wait, like, are you going to give it to me? And then after a while doing that, when I felt like I could have more trust with her and she trusted me, I would start sticking my hand in her dishes she was eating. And she bit me quite a few times. But she didn't really hurt. Now, the big dog, I don't know if I would have been able to do this. But after a couple times, she realized I was just putting my hand there. I wasn't taking the food away. I wasn't doing anything wrong. So she would just keep eating. Then I started, because I kept wanting to up it. And the reason was, is I didn't want her to, for when we had kids, I didn't want it to be a problem if... You know, now my son, which he was too young when she passed, would have stuck her would have stuck his hand in the dish for him to get bitten. So, and I'm just putting down um, the checklist. Sorry, I'm talking so much. I'm not actually saying what I'm doing. But so then finally, I took and I would take while she's eating. I'd just grab the bowl and take it away, and I'd move it. I wouldn't take it completely away. I'd move it away. And she would just look at me like, Mom, what are you doing? I was eating that. And so she'd move to where the dish is. And I did that until she would just stand there and wait till I put it back. And then the last straw was literally, I would have um, other people in the family. So when I was doing this, my sister was living with, um, I was living at my father's, or my parents. Um, and so it was my sister and her husband, and it, I think it was just me. I hadn't met my husband yet. I don't even think my boyfriend at that time was there. But I had them all stick their hands in the dish until she just didn't care. And it was fine. Never had a problem again. So I wish overcoming my current dog's fears were as easy. Now, I don't have any shows on Friday right now because rain ended. I didn't actually realize, I think it ended before last week. Since it's just recording, I don't keep up on it all the time. But I still have a bunch of other shows. So, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to put them up here. Yeah. And then I'll just have that blank space down there. Maybe I'll use this to write um, if anything happens or goes on during the week. So I have one show on Monday, Supergirl. And then I have three shows on Tuesday. Tuesday is like the most popular night. And that is um, The Flash, Shadowhunter, and Agent Carter. Um, then Wednesday I have one, which is the arrow. And then Thursday I have Legends of Tomorrow. So, and then I believe next week starts one of my shows back up. I think, um, Blindspot comes back next week. I'll have to double check. 
It's hard to keep track of when the shows are reappearing when you have this many. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down the tiny tidbits. I'm trying to move um, a little bit faster with my um, planning these days because it's just, I love doing it. I mean, I absolutely love it. But it's difficult to find time in a busy household where I can actually record. If I was just doing this and not recording, it would be so easy because I could just literally sit at my desk, even at night when my husband's home, and plan out my week. But I love doing these videos for you guys because I like it's kind of my connection to the outside world right now. <laughs> I don't get out of the house a whole lot. Um, and I had started a second channel and then I felt so bad because I started it. And then I haven't made another video in a while. And it's mainly just because since finding out I was pregnant, it's been insane. Because we've been trying to figure out, okay, what do we need? What needs to get done? And on that, we're trying to save money um, in filming some of these videos, um, especially when I was doing all the craft videos, could get expensive. So now I'm gonna put down stickers. I think we only have, why well, don't we have a couple sunny days? So Sunday is sunny. Um, Wednesday is sunny. If you guys ever noticed, the reason I do Sunday first is because of, if you watch my video on Planning 101, it's how my little um, thing looks. Right here, I'll show you guys a little thing. So it's how my little cheat sheet works. It goes Sunday to Saturday. So sometimes it's easier to look at Sunday first. So that's it for the sunny days. We do have one thunderstorm day, which we haven't had a lot of thunderstorms lately. Um, or if we have, they've been kind of just popping up. But on Monday, we're gonna have a thunderstorm. I think it's supposed to be a pretty bad one. I think we are under another tornado warning. Um, and then the rest are cloudy. If you guys ever wonder why I skipped this sticker, um, these are always, the ones I use tend to be mess up sheets. Um, that I don't even want to do the like grab bags so this one the sticker didn't get cut all the way um, if you saw my son I don't know how it happened but it got a like really bad black mark through it so I tend to use those because I can use around it and it's fine with me Okay, so I have the majority done. I did forget to put checklists down here. So, and I still want to change up my checklists. I just haven't had a chance to work on that. And if you guys noticed, I have put a lot more stuff in the store. I put the releases. I also, for any of you that do direct sales, I just put a bunch of my direct sales planners in different um, direct sales colors up. I'm working on a sticker for the planner for direct sales because I know it's been requested. Um, as well as, actually I'm going to put this, okay Sunday, I have to pick up coupons again, so I'm just going to put a coupon there. Um, as well as I want to make a, let me go back to the monthly, I want to make a monthly square for direct sales. So I'm working on a few different things. So I want to make sure I post to Instagram when the video goes up. So I'm just gonna put, it's gonna go overlap both and then I can write between. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, see, I don't have any quarter boxes. So one thing I forgot to grab or even make. So I think I might put some information down here as well. So Thursday, or sorry, you know, Thursday. You're not gonna see that. Oh, I can put it right here. Um, my dad's girlfriend is flying in. So I just wanna make a note of that. And then 
Saturday we have a craft on the river I want to go to. So I can put a little car there. And then I don't have one for movie night, but we are going to the movies this Wednesday. So I'm going to have to look and see if I have anything. I'm also trying to mark um, when the recyclables and trash go out. And these I don't have to write because I can just see. And then I like to put cute little stickers for cleaning. So this is my um, cleaning set. So I know we do need to do some laundry. So I think since I don't have anything on Friday, I'm going to try to do some laundry on Friday. And oh, that's the other thing we need to do Saturday. I'll put a blue on. We need to go order our mattress. Um, we're getting a new mattress because ours is terrible. It is really, really, really bad. And I'm not going to put one down for you to clean because it's not really cleaning, it's more like declutter. I am, however, going to put down, since it's President's Day, I don't want to pause it till Wednesday. But my um, Etsy deposit, I try to keep track of when it's going to come in. And I know this one is a good one. And we also should get paid on Wednesday, so I'm also going to mark to pay the bills. So, because I pay, I don't, sorry, I don't know where it cut out, out but um, I just put this down. And what I was saying is I don't pay the bills when they're due. I pay them as soon as we get paid. So I don't have to worry about it. So this is pretty much the whole week. Everything done quick and easy. Um, so I will fill out everything. I'm going to try to get a picture on Instagram once I fill everything out. But I hope you guys like it. I like the simplicity of it this week. Um, next week I'm actually going to use some... Planet Rest stickers, so make sure you watch that one. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye. Put my 11 sticker up here. I just forgot to remember.